Yo what's up, Kamsi here and welcome to my latest tutorial. But before I start the tutorial I would just um, like to say, I don't know, you guys have probably seen it. I got a new intro and in my eyes it's really insane. It's made by a life and I would love if you guys would go click the link I'm gonna be putting in the description and subscribe him, check out some videos of him. He's really amazing and got amazing stuff on and this intro is just sick and really thank you for that again so yeah do me the favor go check him out and maybe subscribe him if you like his stuff but yeah I'm um, coming to the tutorial so basically in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your own custom pattern so yeah like you see on my current background uh, you see those square pattern in the back of it a lot of people have been asking me if I can do a tutorial or not a tutorial a lot of people have been asking me if I can send this texture or pattern to them but I'm just like no I'm not gonna be sending anything out um, I want you to learn how to do this stuff and honestly you don't really learn anything when I just um, send you the the pattern or the texture so I'm gonna be showing you how to do this first um, and later a another like you can pretty much do everything as a pattern so yeah um why do I not give this stuff out is basically just because um, it's not pretty hard to just download something and put it in their background so um, I want you to learn how to do it that's why I'm gonna be making the tutorial I'm not gonna be putting the download link to this in the description because um, there is no learn effect when I just put the download thing in the description if you get me. So first of all what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna be making a new uh, file which is 200 on 200 pixels you can really do 400 and 400 as well doesn't really matter because you can resize that when you use the pattern after that. So just make a new one um, and what I'm going to be doing, I'm firstly going to be doing uh, a square pattern. So just hold down shift, use the rectangular marquee tool, hold down shift and make a square in this edge for example. Now choose the color black and just make a new layer and fill this selection. So what you're going to be doing now is basically double click that layer so it open up the layer styles and you, no not create an overlay, you hit color overlay and choose a darkish gray like that. Now you just duplicate that layer, double click it again and go to color overlay. Wait, first of all I'm going to be moving it a bit like that. Uh, you hit color overlay and make it a light gray like this one. Guess here. So now you hit uh, select both of the layers, duplicate them, and put it on the next side. Both of the, or all of them, duplicate them. And as you see, it cuts off uh, this square a bit. So what you're just going to be doing is select every square, hold down Command T or Control T, depends if you have Windows or Mac. Hold down shift and resize it until it's perfectly matching with the uh, with the uh, the big square. If you know what I mean. Because when you make the pattern, um, it will automatically just um, duplicate this big pattern as which I'm going to be saving it and put it on this side. So you will have this square here after using it but you will see that later so what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be making it a group then it's easier for me to duplicate the stuff what I do now is basically put it under here um, and right so this would if I would keep duplicating it like this I would get like stripes which you can do as well um, but I'm going to be holding down command T and gonna be flipping it horizontal so you see like that you have those squares here um, kinda looks like chess field 
Um, but yeah, just keep duplicating them until the whole thing is filled. Okay, why is there a white thing up at the bottom? Got that now. There shouldn't be any white. Okay, now it's perfectly. I accidentally duplicated it wrong on here. Um, duplicated it right, but just had it too much on the top under this one. So now it's perfectly. And what you can do now is basically just select all the layers. First of all, go to the background layer, double click that, hit OK, so it's a normal layer. So what you can do now is basically just merge down the layers. So you have one layer like that. You hit edit and go to define pattern. I'm just going to be saving it as squares like this. So you have it like that right now. Um, and what you can do with that now is basically I'm just going to be making a a short document like this. The middle really quick I'm just gonna be showing you now how you can or what you do with a pattern. Um gray into like that just quite fast. When you do this stuff, just um, make sure you do it perfectly so it really looks good after that. But what I do now is basically I'm just going to be making a orange overlay. And you can kind of see what it does with the colors. Over the soft line, which looks better. Oh, I'm going to move that. Big fan of overlay right here. So, um, what you can do now is basically hit this uh, circle, one half white and one half like this gray of Photoshop. So you just hit that circle and you choose pattern. And I see it automatically selected the one uh, I just defined as in this other project. So when you want to change the pattern, just go here. You have a lot of patterns in here if you install a lot of them. So just install them or yeah, just put them in here and you see um, it's looking like this. So with the scale you can make it bigger or smaller. I really like 100% for this because I already made it in a pretty good size. Oh no, I'm going to make it a bit smaller, 50 probably, 60. Yeah, 60 looks good. So just hit OK and what to do now is basically hit uh, right click and rasterize the layer. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. just make it a normal layer and on here change the blend mode to overlay and I'll put the opacity down to about like 50 or 30, 20, something like that. So you really see that it looks pretty cool. And you can do that with pretty much every pattern, like over here. Uh, well, I'm just gonna be like, like that. Um, you can make like w some uh, circles as well. Make some small circles um, like this. I'm gonna be keeping that black and duplicate it. Duplicate them. Make sure they have the same space between them. And I guess one more. So yeah, and on the side it should be it should have the half of the space that it has in here. Um because you know this uh, side is going on this side, you find the pattern, if you know what I mean. 
So we're going to be grouping that again. Like this. And so on. You can pretty much play around with that and do pretty much everything you want to do. Um, it's really, I really like to do this stuff um, because it shows up your own creativity. Uh, you don't just download something and uh, use that in your backgrounds. When you make something by yourself, like something completely by yourself, it's always better. So now I just uh, merge those layers again, define the pattern, and then just use it in uh, Photoshop. If you don't want to have a like the white thing in the back, just do, uh, select that and define pattern now. So yeah, um, that would actually be for me. Uh, about this tutorial, keep in mind to be creative and original, um, to not just use this space stuff, which is quite getting annoying, to be honest, because it's so uncreative and you don't really see any originality in it. Every background pretty much looks the same. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you out. And I hope you understand that I'm not going to be putting the download link to these patterns in the description because I guess now you can pretty much do it by yourself. I hope you can. And if not, just learn doing it because it won't really help you out when I just put it in the description. You can download it, put it in your background or a wallpaper or whatever and just use it so you don't really learn out of it. So yeah, um, I hope this tutorial helped you out. If so, please like and comment. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go and subscribe it. And yeah, I'm out. See you at my next video, which will probably be a speeder. Um, so yeah, bye.